Um, I remember that it wasn't really uh, uh, welcome to the way Sticky Fingers was. It didn't have a lot of hit singles, just tumbling dice and happy, and that was kind of it. But what I was thinking about when, when I was watching it was that the Beatles had just broken up a year before that you were working on it, and when you were when you were recording, uh, were, were you thinking about the fact that you had outlasted the Beatles, and uh, this was like uh, fresh territory, this was like a new place to go? Uh, they were always your rivals, kind of. I, I, uh, yeah, I mean, I, the thing was, I suppose, that the, um, maybe we were, but the, the thing was that the, the Beatles had never been on the stage for, for, for years. You know, they in fact, they'd never played a show. And this was now the era already, I know we'd say now, you know, it's very important live music. But th this was the era of, you know, big, uh, big arena tours uh, starting off. Um, and we'd already done a very big arena tour of the world, 1969, 70. And I think that the Beatles hadn't done a show since 1966, and that was only, a couple of songs in a in a in a kind of um, in a sort of special concert. So uh, in a way, it, uh, perhaps the, you know we didn't think of ourselves being the same as them. They were rather sort of cut off from the world already. Um, I know we sort of cut ourselves a bit off. Maybe we're calling it, but but um, I don't know what we thought really about the Beatles at that point. I, mean, I think it was kind of sad. Um, but I don't know if we, saw, we, we didn't think anything like the other case. We, uh, I don't think that was, you know, right. The rivalry was always sort of overstated, wasn't it? Well, yeah, certainly by then there was no, that was all finished, you know, but, uh, yeah. Was just, so thanks, good question. Though.